Hello. To share with you an illustration of the concepts that Piaget put forth of assimilation, accommodation, and schema, I'm at the Piaget stages of cognitive development put forth by the Department of Educational Psychology and Instructional Technology at the University of Georgia. A schema represents one's understanding of how something works or what something is. So here we have an initial schema. Child begins to develop an understanding of what a dog is from a picture book. And the parent reads, and this is what a dog looks like. Then the schema is forming. The child experiences disequilibrium. The child is actively constructing a schema about dogs. The child assimilates information and returns to a state of equilibrium. The child's thinking dog, ears, four legs, tail. The assimilation process continues. The child expands understanding what a dog is by observing one at a park. The child checks, yes, the dog has ears, four legs, and a tail. This animal must be a dog. Then the animal barks. The child experiences disequilibrium. The child's schema about dogs does not include barking. Then in petting the animal, the child notes that it's furry. The assimilation process is continuing. The child experiences disequilibrium. The child's schema about dogs does not include fur. Then the child's licked by the dog. The child again experiences disequilibrium. The child's schema about dogs does not include licking. So as part of this assimilation process, the child is in a experience of disequilibrium. Here's this animal that barks, is furry, and licks. Is it actually a dog or not? It does have the ears, the forelegs, and a tail. So the child confers with the parent and says, dog. So while the child is in a state of disequilibrium, he or she is actively constructing meaning. He or she is building an internal schema or adding information to the existing schema. The child seeks reinforcement from the parent. The parent responds, dog. So the parent affirms and reinforces the new information. Assimilation is occurring. The disequilibrium resolves. The schema is organized to incorporate that new information. So, to the characteristics of four legs, ears, and tail, the child adds barks, furry, and licks. And so assimilation has occurred and the child has returned to a state of equilibrium. Now we have accommodation. So now the child sees a cat in the park. A new schema must be formed to acknowledge that this is a different animal even though it has some of the same traits as a dog. So a child sees this animal walking around, goes down the checklist, four legs, ears, tails, hasn't heard a tail that is, hasn't heard any barking, appears to be furry, hasn't looked. This animal goes meow. Now we're in a state of disequilibrium. The animal is furry, the animal does lick but it meows. Now, this animal is climbing up a tree. So the child is in disequilibrium and is actively constructing meaning. Here she asks the parent to assist this disequilibrium. Dog? No, replies the parent, cat. So the child is in a state of disequilibrium. The parent provides feedback and reinforces, this is a cat. So now the child, this process of accommodation, creates a new schema. So the child is in disequilibrium. Here she is actively constructing meaning. In this new schema says cat, four legs, ears, tail, meows, furry, licks, and climbs. Accommodation has occurred. The child returns to state of equilibrium. A schema about cats has formed. All right, so hopefully that was a good illustration for you of schema, assimilation, and accommodation. And again, I wanna thank uh, the people who put together this uh, presentation that I was able to share with you.